Very profound story. Two men, both seriously ill, shared the same hospital room. And one of them was allowed to sit up in his bed for only one hour each day in order to drain the fluid off his lungs. His bed was next to the room's only window. The other man, his roommate, had to lay flat on his back at all times. Each day, during that one hour period in which the man by the window was able to sit up in his bed, he would pass the time by describing to his roommate all of the beautiful things that he saw outside, all the activity that he saw, all the nature that he saw, everything that was going on outside. He explained to his roommate in, in exquisite details. His roommate loved those experiences. In fact, his roommate lived for those one hour periods of time each day in which his world would just be enlivened and broadened by all of the activity outside. This continued on for years. Then one day, the man by the window died peacefully in his sleep. Hospital attendants came in, took the body away. As soon as it seemed appropriate, the, his roommate um, requested to be moved next to the window. They honored the request, they moved him next to the window. And as soon as possible, his roommate propped himself up on one elbow to take a look out the window. And he was shocked when he saw that out the window, it faced a blank wall. He calls in the nurse and he says, nurse, you know, he describes, he tells the nurse about how, you know, his, his, his deceased roommate used to describe all these beautiful things outside the window. The nurse said that actually that roommate was blind and he could not even see the blank wall outside the window. He asked the nurse, I wonder what would have compelled him to describe such beautiful things. The nurse said, oh, you know, he's such a positive guy. I'm sure he just wanted to encourage you. He just wanted to fill you with love and joy and peace to help you get through these challenging experiences in your life. I love that illustration so much because when you really think about that story, think about that. That man, that blind man, was truly wealthy. Because instead of focusing on his sickness and instead of focusing on his disability, he chose to focus on being grateful for what he had and sharing with others that peace and that joy and that beauty on the inside. Even though he couldn't see beauty on the outside, he was able to share beauty on the inside. And it's interesting how, it's interesting how we all have something to share. Even as we're going through problems ourselves, there's always opportunities for us to give to others. And really, true success and true wealth in life is about sharing with others. It's amazing how as we focus on filling other people up, our cups stay full. Because as we give to other people, we confirm to ourselves that we have more than enough. We confirm to ourselves that we have an abundance. And as we feel that abundance that we have in our lives, it really helps us to have that sense of prosperity, that sense of true wealth that each one of us has.